Welcome back to another product review. And today we're going to take a look at The Art of Disney Frozen. This is the first movie. That's right. The first one. Why? Why am I mentioning this? Because I did Frozen 2 first. And then in the comments, it was mentioned that actually the first one was better. It's a better book. I didn't have it. So I got it. Let's check it out. I haven't seen it yet. So I'm very curious. So let's get into it. This is the front, the back, the spine, and it has a protective piece here, which then reveals this. And let's check it out. First flip through for me as well. Now I'm going to start off with something immediately controversial. Dare I say, what, what is it? I like Frozen 2 more than Frozen. I might have a few people that already turned off the clip for <laughs> this and many other reasons. So cute. Uh, but yeah, I know there's something about the second one. You hold on before I keep talking, you know, I always say this, I love really rough scribbles. So a lot of times you have art of books that kind of show, it's almost like art was done after the fact. Let's take something that was really cool and make it pretty and that's it. It's actually a neat design beforehand here. Cute. So anything that's really like an honest concept piece, rough piece, I think is always great to see. It's so appealing. I just see this and I get immediately depressed. It's like, oh man, I should have practiced drawing because I do love drawing. I'm horrible at it. It's great. It's like something like that. It, I, it would take 10 years to get barely into something like that. Getting into storyboards. But yeah, I do love drawing. And I have, I have to say, I have an embarrassing amount of how to draw book, sketching, character design that I love looking at, then that I didn't really look at really, like in terms of practicing, but I am going to. This is the year where I am. This is really cool. I love this, seeing actual reference in terms of what the inspiration is, real places. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I like the first one. I like the movie a lot, but there's something about the second one. I just really, really like the second one. But I also really love it. There's a making of on Disney Plus. That's really, really nice. Feature length is really long. It's really cool. It's a very cute design. Oh, cute. These are great. So I highly recommend watching that making of as well. You're definitely going to see a lot of uh, those grouped uh, finger poses for, it's mostly for girls and women. There's just a classic Disney. <laughs> That's quite the design there. It's kind of fun. That's a classic, just hand pose. Cool though, I love seeing this. That would be a pain to rig and animate. Hans! Hans. For me, it's always Hans is Hans Gruber, Die Hard. Which in the German version, if you ever watch Die Hard in German, it's actually Jack. <laughs> That's a funny face. Cool. Costume designs, you know, I like that stuff. Great poses as well. Cute, I love seeing this. Yes, I love seeing variations of costumes. I do love the songs as well. It's great insight into making the songs and the making of disagreements or versions that you go too far into. And then you gotta backtrack, do something else. It's like the, I think, what is it called? It begins at the beginning, the episode one, Phantom Menace making of, which is so great. Love seeing color keys. We got Kristoff, different versions. You're awesome. Swen. It's cute. I like it. I like the book so far. I still wish there was a bit more in terms of some rough sketches and more character explorations. There, I say. I would have to do a direct comparison to the second one. So I remember liking the second one a lot. I think this is probably about the same. Cute to see here. That's cute. I love seeing definitely something like that. It's awesome. But then it kind of stops already. I don't know. I like it. But it could have more. I would have to say I'm also from now on super spoiled by the bad guys art of book. That's going to be the new standard in terms of awesomeness. What they show in terms of behind the scenes and and just different aspects of production. I think this is a pretty standard art of book, which again, I still like. I still like seeing all of this. I wish I had more stuff like that, like different kind of 
just posing. Some of the art books have really nice uh, pages of really cool character explorations, but with poses. Like even this guy, there's not that much there. There's the return. Spoiler! I'm gonna say it's an older movie, so I'm not gonna be so uh, picky about spoilers compared to other ones. And then we have more of little nice art pieces there. And then we have the end, and then that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Always fun to see. I don't think this is bad. Definitely love seeing stuff like that. I just wish there was more. More in this vein. Just like a vast exploration, dare I say. Dare I be critical. Yeah. I would have to say. I think there's a good variety in this. Definitely goes into characters and uh, the sets. But it's not massively vast. So dare I say, I like it. Not my favorite, <laughs> dare I say. I'm gonna go through it again, check it out. And I always kind of take screenshots this is my personal process. If it's art of books, I look at certain pages where I feel like the poses are cool, hand poses, facial poses. I take screenshots, this goes into a folder and I have a library of, of reference in terms of expressions and hands and things and just inspiration in general as well. And um, that's probably on the lesser side, dare I say, dare I be critical. Um, so whoever recommended the first one over the second one, I don't know. I'm gonna do a, a, a private comparison to see how they how they stack up. But still, I love the movie. I love seeing little behind the scenes of that. And that's it for the flip through. As always, that's it. I know there's no nothing else to it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.